Once you get to, to this level of, of racing, you have a pit crew that's been doing this their entire life. It's, it's what they do best. In a pit crew, everyone usually has a, a predetermined job. You have the wheel changers, which obviously go in with a wheel gun and take the tires. I think you have the tire man that removes and takes the tires in. That's always an orchestrated kind of ballet that they practice all the time, is how to be quick and efficient, change the tire quick, put it in, put the new tire on, move on to the next tire. You also have the fuel man that has to put in the fuel as soon as, as soon as the car comes in. You have the guy that clips on the ground so the car does not spark. Then you have the guy with the fire extinguisher as well. And the crew chief that always stands in front of everyone and kind of directs everyone what to do. Uh, everyone always has a job to do and everyone has done that job thousands of times. But it's always then the head crew guy determines what needs to be done and what priority if something is off or something needs to be changed. Um, for example, if you have to make changes on the car, on setup, on the wing, then he's the one, as soon as he sees someone finish their job, he'll direct them to where they need to go and, and tell them what, what changes to do. Now, usually you try to have a plan of attack before the car ever comes in. Um, everyone usually knows what's gonna happen, but then again, so piss ups are always unpredictable. Sometimes you have a car come in, they'll take a tire off, and all of a sudden they look and there's something wrong with the suspension. Or there might be a leak in, in, in the gearbox or the engine. Or there might be a, a problem with the driver change. You know, maybe a, a belt got stuck or a plug broke off, etc. So that's when it starts getting fun. That's when you really see these guys work in tandem to fix a problem. But you'll see them most of the time they don't even communicate. Everyone knows what they have to do. 